Good day to everyone. In this video, we'll see how we can test the mobile applications using the browser stack. The companies, they cannot buy all types of mobile devices only for testing purpose. So they will use the browser stack which gives the virtual device. These virtual devices, they give the same experience as the real mobile itself. In these virtual devices, we can upload the apps that is the build which we have received from the developer and we can test the application in various mobiles and in also in different android versions or the ios versions in some of the companies they will be having three to four mobiles that is of android and also of ios that is apple mobiles in those mobiles they will have the different versions of android they will install the application in those devices and they will do the testing. If the apps, if they are working fine in those devices, then they will assume that it will work fine in all the other mobiles also. Now let us see how we can experience the different mobile devices using this browser stack. Now I have opened this browser stack website and I have logged in with my personal email id. This is a free version. I, I will be having the limited access. Once you have logged in, you can see that we have a section that is test your mobile apps. In this section, we need to select app live. Now you can observe here, we have different mobile devices. That is the different virtual mobile devices, which will give us the real time experience. We have various Android and iOS devices. You can observe here, we have mobiles like Google Pixels, Samsung, OnePlus, Oppo and many others. Now I will select Google Pixel 6 Pro. Here you can see the virtual device it is getting ready. Now the mobile is getting started. And in the right side you can see uh, there is a dev tool. Here you can see the details of the mobile. Now the Pixel mobile, it is ready to use. So you can go to the Play Store and download any of the application. Here you need to sign in before you continue to download the application. See now I am opening some app. I will open this calculator application and then I will perform some tasks. I am performing the tasks. Like this, we will install the applications and we start testing the application. In the left hand side, you can see we have various options available. Here you can see we have an option called install new app. When you want to test a new application, we will install the application using this option. Now you can see I will click on this install new app. Here we have an option called upload. Here we will be uploading the .apk file or .ipa file. That is the files which are received from the developers. We will install the application using this option and we will start testing the application. You can also see here we have an option called screenshot. Through this we can take a screenshot. This will be helpful when you want to report a bug to the developer it will act as a proof for reporting the bug. Next we have kill or uninstall. This we will be using to uninstall the application which we have installed. Now the time is up here. I will open another mobile now. I am opening another Google Pixel mobile. You can see it is getting started now. Here you can see we have an option to change the language. I will click on this language. Then I will change it to the English India. And also we have a rotate the mobile device option here. Through this we can rotate the mobile that is for landscape or portrait. Since we need to test the application both in portrait and landscape mode, this option it will be helpful in that. Now in the above we can see some of the options there. Here we have switch devices option. And then we have record sessions. This record session, it will also be helpful while reporting a bug to the developer. We can record the session and we can send it to the developer. So this will also act as a proof to the bug. 
we have an option to zoom out and zoom in. See here, we have an option to report the bug also. Now I'll click on this option, report a bug. Here it will ask which tool to report the bug. Here it is giving various tools. The most commonly used tool is the Jira tool. And while reporting the bug, it will add the details such as the OS that is used in this mobile and the resolution and the browser if any used and the test URL which is used and any other details. It will add that in the bug report. Here you can observe we have an option to download and also to email the report. Now I'll click on the Jira software which is the most commonly used software to report the bug. Now you can see it is being redirected to the Jira tool. Now the Jira tool it has been opened here. Here we can create an issue with respect to what the uh, bug is. I have already done a video to how to report a bug in the Jira tool. And this is how we use the browser stack tool to test the mobile application. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any of the videos or updates. Thank you.